Hi guys, I'm Kelsey Bolin. Thank you for joining me today. Per request from some of our viewers, I'm going to show you some muffin top moves today that you're going to love. They're all standing and it'll be quick, easy, and fast. Okay, so we're going to start off with some side bends. I want you to just squat down in a wide sumo squat with your toes pointed out, weight in your heels, put your hands up by your head. If you want to use a weight, that's perfectly fine as well. I don't have one today. I'm in the forest. <laughs> but all you need to do is keep your hips square and then we're just going to bend from side to side with a nice little pause at the very top in the middle. And we're going to go for, let's say, 25 on each side. Okay, so a total of 50. You ready, guys? Okay, let's go. Get a nice little breathing rhythm. Breathe out on the way up. Make sure you're keeping those hips square in front of you. And bend down as far as you can, keeping that core tight. Doing great, guys. All you need for this one are a pair of tennis shoes and lots of energy. There are so many things going on here because we're squatting, so we're engaging those glutes and quads. And then of course, we're working on those obliques to get rid of that muffin top. We got five more on each side. Go hard on these last ones. Really strong focus on pulling that oblique up. Give me one more on each side. Great. Okay, now we're moving right along to a knee raise with a side twist. So again, we're engaging those obliques. We're also engaging the rest of your core by forcing you to stabilize when you lift your knee. So it's gonna look like this. Put your hands out in front of you. And again, you can have a weight in your hand if you'd like that makes it even more effective. So a two to three or five pound weight would be great. So hold your hands out like this, and then you're just gonna lift your knee and twist to the opposite side. And pause a little right here, okay? So this is really engaging that oblique. And it's all about control. You wanna make sure you go slow and really, really feel. Okay? All right, guys, let's go for 15 on each side. If you get a little unstable, that's okay. Don't get frustrated. It happens to everyone. We got five more. One more, you guys. Great, switching it on over to the other side. So same drill here, just up and twist. Ooh, my glutes are still sore from that booty workout I did yesterday. Okay, here we go. So up and twist with a pause. Takes a little while to find the rhythm. But once you do, you should really feel it in that oblique. Five more, guys. All right, great job, you guys, so far. You are one fourth of the way through. Our next move is a standing crunch, right? But it's a little bit more fun than that. It's a toe touch with a reach. So what I want you to do is we'll start off by reaching for the right leg. We're gonna do 15 on each side. So bend this left leg slightly, put this left arm straight up and then you're just gonna put the right arm back to give you a little momentum as you lift this leg up to touch your toe okay that engages these obliques and these abs and really really is gonna tighten those up for you so we'll go for 15 on this leg first ready just keep it nice and slow and steady 
And if you can't touch your toe, that's okay. Don't forget to keep breathing. We got five more to go, guys. You can do it. One more on this leg. Great. Over to the other side. Same drill here. Just up and like so. Let's go for 15. A lot of these moves are all about control, which engages our core as well. So that's the point. We want to blast that muffin top. Five more. One more. Great. So this next one, we're going to do a side bend with a leg lift. So it's going to look a little something like this. Put your hands straight up above your head. Okay. We'll go, let's lift the right leg out first. So put a slight bend in your right knee. Okay. And then all you're going to do is bend and lift right so you're crunching this oblique working these muscles right here okay so just like so let's go for 15 on each side all right guys let's hit it and get it here we go make sure your weight's in your heel right of your left foot not your toe One more. Great. Other side now. Okay, so same drill here. Slight bend in your left knee. Hands up, right like so. And then we're just going to twist, right? Bend and lift that leg up. Okay? All right, guys, let's go. Slow and steady here. <laughs> if you lose your balance, that's okay. We got five more. Last one. Great job. All right, guys, you're doing great. This next exercise is the lunge with a twist. So you're gonna have your hands, arms right out in front of you. You can put a weight in your hands if you want to. That'll make it more effective or a medicine ball or something, but I don't have one. <laughs> so it's gonna look like this. You're just gonna lunge, keeping your knee behind your toe, right? And then you're just gonna twist and twist with a pause in the middle and back up. We're gonna do 15 on each side. Okay, let's go, you can do it. Lunge and twist and up. Nice and steady. See, we're getting some leg work in there too. Do you guys see the ducks behind me? <laughs> Aren't those cool? I don't know if you can see them, but they're so pretty. Make sure you're breathing, keeping your weight in your heel. And breathing, of course. I'm a huge fan of sanding moves, actually, because you don't have to mess with the mat. <laughs> Five more to go, guys. Only three more and we're switching over. You 
You got one more. Great, your legs should be feeling it a little by now too, which is good. Next, we're gonna do a good morning with a twist. So I'm sure you're familiar with this move. You're just gonna place this right leg forward, okay? And then come up on the toe of your left leg. Place your hands behind your head. Go down with a straight back into a good morning, okay? And then come up, and when you're at the top, twist. All right, we'll do 15 of those on each side. Here we go. Doing great, you guys. Really concentrate on twisting that oblique muscle, okay? As you're turning. Stay in that low lunge. You got five more. And be exaggerating your movements, okay? So you go down, you go up, and you twist, right? Two more. Great, switching it to the other side. So same thing, just this leg forward at a bend, right, your hips straight. Make sure you're keeping your hips straight. The toe of your right foot raised a little off the ground. And then let's just go for it, 15 on this side. You're bending at the hips. and twisting. Don't forget to breathe. And make sure you keep your core tight the whole time. We've got five more. Four more now. Give me two more good ones. Great job on those. As promised, we've got cross crunches next. We're gonna do isolated. So we're gonna do 15 on one side and then 15 on the other side to really burn it out. So hands behind your head. We'll start with the right side first this time. Okay, so keep this knee bended. Your, your right knee bent, bended, bent. <laughs> And then it's gonna look a little something like this. You're just gonna cross up like that for 15, okay? All right, guys, let's go. Bring that knee up as high as you can and then bring your elbow to your knee, okay? Breathe out as you're crunching. We got five more. One more, guys. Good job. Other side. Same drill here. Get that knee up as high as you can and then crunch. The goal is to get these oblique muscles really engaged. Five more. Perfect, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. And thank you for being so sweet and liking all my videos and commenting and joining me on this journey. It's a pleasure to, to be along the ride with you and I hope you keep watching. We'll see you right here next time.